Okay, this is the last part of the Free State September 2016 um, chemistry calculations. It says magnesium burns in air to form magnesium oxide according to the following balanced equation. 2 magnesium plus oxygen goes to 2 magnesium oxide solid. It says if the percentage yield of this reaction is 80%, okay, normally we get asked to calculate the percentage yield. But in this situation, they are telling you this is what we got. We only got 80% of what we expected. If the percentage yield is 80%, calculate the mass of magnesium that needs to be burned to produce 30 grams of magnesium oxide. So when we do theoretical yield calculations, okay, the, the percentage yield, the percentage yield is given by the actual yield, what you actually got, over the theoretical yield. And remember, the theoretical yield comes from the balanced equation. If all of my reactants reacted, they would give me 100%, which is my theoretical yield. But we don't always get that out. We get out an actual amount. And then to turn it into a percentage, you just multiply by 100. So this question is telling you the percentage yield was 80%. So on this side belongs the number 80. Then it says to you, we produced 30 grams of magnesium oxide. So this is the actual yield. 30 grams is what you are going to get out. Okay, so in our equation, the 30 grams would go over here, and then the theoretical yield we don't know, okay, which would be what the balanced equation would tell us if everything reacted. So what theoretical mass of uh, magnesium oxide would the balanced equation have told us? So if you put all of this into your calculator, you end up with something like 37 and a half grams. So if we put in a certain amount of magnesium, we should get out 37 and a half grams of magnesium oxide, but we don't. We only get out 30 because that is what the 80% yield is meaning. So if the reaction went 100%, we should have got out 37 and a half grams of magnesium oxide, but we only got out 30 grams, which is giving us this 80% theoretical yield. So once we've worked out that we should have got 37 and a half grams of magnesium oxide, then we can work out the moles. So the number of moles of magnesium oxide that would produce 37 and a half grams of um, magnesium oxide will be calculated by M over M. So we have got 37 and a half grams that we wanted to get. And so how many moles of this would we need? The molar mass from the periodic table, 24 for magnesium, 16 for oxygen. So this is 16 plus 24. This is 40. So this means the number of moles of magnesium oxide is going to be 0, 0,9375 moles of magnesium oxide. So what we did was we said we only got out 30, but the balanced equation would have told us we were going to get out this 37 and a half, okay, and we've just converted that 37 and a half that we expected, we converted it into moles, okay, so the number of moles of magnesium oxide that we should have produced is 0, 0,9375, where did that magnesium oxide come from? The magnesium oxide came from the magnesium in the balanced equation, so we just go back to our mole ratio, 2 magnesium oxide is equivalent to 2 magnesium. So 0, 0,9375 magnesium oxide will be the same as 0, 0,9375 moles of magnesium because 2 is to 2 is the same as 1 is to 1. So the ratio, the moles will be the same because the ratio is 1 is to 1. So now all we have to do is convert this number of moles in, of magnesium into mass, so the number of moles of magnesium will be equal to the mass of magnesium over the molar mass of magnesium. So my little m is going to be n times the, num the molar mass, so 0, 0,9375 
times the molar mass, which is 24 from the periodic table. So this is going to be 22 and a half grams of magnesium is needed to produce 30 grams of magnesium oxide. And remember, this oxygen's also got a mass, so that's how come this magnesium oxide mass is greater than the mass of the magnesium because now it's bonded with the oxygen. So to do this calculation, before you find the moles, you should find the theoretical mass and then turn the theoretical mass into the theoretical moles and then the theoretical moles can be related because you can only relate the moles. The theoretical moles of magnesium oxide can be related to the mass of magnesium that you need. So if you put in 22 and a half grams of magnesium, it would bond with the oxygen and it would produce a certain amount of magnesium oxide, but at 80% yield.